We're building the best map to help you navigate and explore the world. We've launched our redesign map in 10 countries and regions, and we're excited to announce that later this year, we'll bring the new map to 11 more, including France, Switzerland, and New Zealand. Our new map includes great features like cycling, look around, and so many more. And with the new city experience, we pushed it even further with unprecedented detail for land cover, roads, and elevation, as well as improved driving and transit navigation. And we're adding Las Vegas, which looks stunning. And before the end of the year, we'll add six more cities, including Miami, Chicago, and Sydney. Next is maps. In iOS 6, we have built an entire new mapping solution from the ground up, and it is beautiful. This is what Lake Tahoe looks like. We're doing all the cartography ourselves. Here's New York City, San Francisco. This is a worldwide effort. We're covering the world. Here's Italy, New Zealand, Singapore, Norway, Paris. I'm going to go through every city. In the the beautiful, beautiful maps. With iOS 16, we're introducing great updates for maps users and developers. Let's start with one of our most requested features, multi-stop routing. You can now plan up to 15 stops in advance. Maps will now store previous routes in recents, so they're easy to get back to. And you can plan multi-stop routes on the Mac and send them to iPhone when you're ready to go. And of course, when you're driving, you can ask Siri to add additional stops to your route while safely keeping your eyes on the road. Next, let's talk about getting around with transit. We're making it easy for riders to see fares for how much their journey will cost, along with the ability to add transit cards to wallet. And if a transit card balance is running low, you'll receive an alert so you can reload it without having to leave maps. We're also building a traffic service. We have this great traffic view, so it's easy to see where the incidents are or where the, the slow traffic is. And on top of that, we overlay the incidents. So it's easier for you to figure out whether traffic's likely to speed up in a given location anytime soon. In addition to other data sources, we're using anonymous, real-time crowdsourced data right from our iOS users to keep this traffic fresh and up to date. We are also building in turn-by-turn -turn navigation. It's really simple. Once you find a place you'd like to go, just tap on that quick route button, and you're on your way. As you're going, we'll be monitoring the traffic. We'll give you your ETA. If the traffic slows down in front of you, We'll update your ETA, and then we'll start looking to reroute you around it to find a faster route. And if we do, we'll offer it to you. And again, you're on your way around the traffic. All of this works from the lock screen as well, if you have it plugged into your car. And of course, we've integrated it with Siri. So you just ask Siri to take you somewhere, and you're on your way. You can ask questions along your route, like where can I get gas, and it'll look for convenient gas stations along your route. And of course, the kids can ask the age-old question. <laughs> and for developers, we're making big improvements to MapKit starting with our revolutionary new city experience, which includes rich details for land cover, roads, landmarks, and more. Developers like Bird can now integrate this detailed map so users can more easily locate bikes and scooters to get around town. And it looks stunning in both light and dark mode. 
And there's more. We're also bringing Look Around to MapKit, making it easy to integrate high resolution imagery from maps into apps like Zillow, helping users get an immersive ground level view while browsing homes. And finally, we're excited to announce that later this year, developers will have faster and more flexible ways to build incredible maps experiences with brand new server-side APIs. And that's a quick look at maps. Now, a really fun feature that we're adding to our maps is something we call flyover. We have been flying major metropolitan areas around the world in helicopters and in planes, and we've been building up a 3D photographic model of these places, and it is gorgeous. This is what it looks like on the iPhone. It looks great on the iPad. Let me just go ahead and give you a demo of our maps. All right, so here's our maps. They're all vector-based, so everything is really fast. You zoom in and out. You can rotate, and we rotate all the labels. When you zoom in far enough, you'll see building start to appear. You can tap on a point of interest. Here's MoMA. Get the info card. Again, beautiful. Get reviews and ratings from Yelp. Lots of photos. We also do 3D. So I can zoom in and see just what MoMA looks like. Can zoom out a little bit here. Sort of move around the city. Rotate around. Let me zoom back in there. Beautiful. I'll go back to 2D. We have satellite view, of course. Here's our satellite view. But what I really want to show you is flyover. So let's go ahead and choose the Transamerica Pyramid. Now, this is not a movie. This is being rendered in real time. So I can go ahead and rotate this myself. I can change the camera angle, fly through it myself. Just beautiful. Let me choose another place. How about the Sydney Opera House? And again, I can rotate this. Let's turn it so I can look back at the city. Right behind the Opera House, I'll zoom out a little bit, change the camera angle. And that is flyover.